Hi there guys, it's Chris here with selfmenuread.com and in this video I want to talk to you about the best business model for creating an online business for beginners. So before we dive into it, it really helps out the channel if you drop a like on this video, hit subscribe, turn on that bell if you want to be updated with new videos coming out like this all the time to help you to find success online. So despite all the products and all the hype out there telling you that you can make money with this new system and all these like get rich quick schemes and you know all these shiny objects there are only really a couple of ways to successfully make money online and to make money online in the way that most people want to which is you know doing some work and making passive income okay really not doing a nine to five being able to travel, things of that nature. That's how people want to make money online. So there are really only a couple of ways. So the first way is uh, e-commerce. So e-commerce, drop shipping, that kind of realm is creating stores, perhaps on Shopify or something else, and basically advertising your products, either your own products or you're sourcing products from Alibaba, putting them on your store, marking them up, marketing them on Facebook. This drop shipping, Shopify, Facebook ad model has been around for a while and a lot of people find successful success with it and a lot of people don't find success with it. The second one is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is when you look for products in a niche and you write content about those products or advertise them on social media if you have a decent following and you're given a special link and if someone clicks that link there's some commission attached to it with that system so if they have a 30 percent you know commission affiliate program if anyone clicks your link and then buys the product you'll automatically be given a 30 percent commission so that's essentially what affiliate marketing is tying into affiliate marketing you also have content marketing, which is content creation. A lot of people out there, if you've seen any niche blogs on the keto diet, on yoga, on you know gaming, on you know on any different topic, if you see blogs, websites, YouTube channels around those uh, around different niche topics, uh, a lot of these people are also doing affiliate marketing slash content marketing, and often they will also have their own product which other people are also affiliating for as well. So there's that affiliate marketing, content marketing, product creation realm as well. Uh, the next one is freelancing. Uh, freelancing is essentially just selling your skills. With freelancing, I tie in consulting, coaching, service providing, social media marketing, agencies, and all that kind of stuff. You basically have a skill and you're selling that skill. So some people do this on Upwork and Fiverr and they you know they charge by the hour some people do this uh, and they sell high ticket and they try and sell a result these people are the ones who make the most money and they're able to create agencies and um, you know hire staff hire vas and you know make money from selling a service a b2b service there's also amazon now i kind of tie amazon into e-commerce but instead of making your own store you're sourcing products putting them on amazon some people also put products on eBay and you have things like KDP under that as well so for me that's also under the e-commerce umbrella you're just putting products on a marketplace instead of advertising them on Facebook and you're trying to get people to buy those products whether they're yours or whether you're sourcing them from somewhere else so essentially you have three ways you have the e-commerce routes which includes Amazon which includes Shopify which includes selling products you have the freelancing agency selling your skills selling a service generally b2b that's where the money is if you want to go down that route and then there's the affiliate con affiliate marketing content marketing and product creation route so for me what is my favorite so my favorite and i think the best for beginners is the affiliate marketing route now why is that i've done all of these different methods and uh, one thing you're going to realize very quickly for example about e-commerce is that you need money up front you need money to pay for your store your shopify store all the plugins are generally a monthly fee so while shopify might be 39.95 a month you end up playing, paying about 60 to 70 dollars a month and i'm not a believer in spending money until i've made it tying into that you generally are running facebook ads or your some people they run instagram uh influencer marketing campaigns where they pay influencers to market their products either way it's money up front you're spending money before you've even made anything and there's just that kind of throwing money at the more at the wall vibe to even running Facebook ads that I don't like you know even if you run you know on your very first ads you have to actually mature your Facebook pixel 
So the Facebook algorithm has to understand what it is, who you are, who your business is, so it can target the right people. So for the longest time, if your targeting is not correct, tied into the fact there's a lot of competition, you can just be throwing money at the wall for a while and not seeing any sales at all. I think there are too many moving parts. You have to have your product perfect for your audience. Um, you need to have your price perfect in line with competition and what they're doing. And then your promotion, your ads, your copy, that also needs to be really good as well. So a lot of moving parts, a lot of skills needed, a lot of money put forward. And also it's kind of just a cold, like I don't find any fulfillment in just selling products. I think people find fulfillment and esteem from contributing to a niche, a community, and then using that as a vehicle to monetize your life. And I don't think e-commerce gives you that at all. You're just kind of this brand selling stuff and you have a lot of admin stuff to do, a lot of money to spend. And for me, that's the reason, that's reason enough that it's not for beginners. Freelancing, selling your skills, becoming an agency. I don't think this is beginners because again, a lot of moving parts. While you don't have to spend a lot of, lot of money up front, there is a lot of work that, and difficult work for most people that goes into it. So anybody uh, marketing, you know, create an agency, it's all well and good. They'll start off teaching you how to build a website, how to set your profile up really good, how to find your audience, how to find businesses. But what you then have to do is start contacting these people, you know, sending out mass emails. You actually have to get people on the phone. You have to cold call, warm call, you have to close people for high ticket amounts. This is the freelancing agency route if you wanna make some good money, okay? Try and get them on retainers, and then you have to deliver often on a skill that you might not be sure you can do. This is always something I found amazing with people who start getting into an agency. So there'll be like a program for be a social media marketing agency, and then you might be able to, you know, get a client, but then you have to, you know, deliver. You have to get that company social media like going really well. You have to spend their money on ads and get traffic to their product. When you try to scale, you need to hire VAs, you need to hire like salespeople, you need to hire people who deliver. And if you wanna automate the whole thing and make the money passively, uh, it just seems to me like that would be a headache. We got too many people involved, too many moving parts, just a lot going on. And for me, it's not really for me, I don't think it's really for beginners either. Now my favorite is affiliate and content marketing. I think this is the best for beginners. Uh, first of all, the upfront costs can potentially be zero. If you produce content on YouTube, it can be zero. If you produce written content, you have medium.com. You don't have to pay anything there. If you do wanna create a blog and write written content, you're looking at a website like Hostinger, um, very fast. Uh, on limited websites and you can you can get a website and a domain it's something like you know three four dollars a month so very very low startup costs and really it's just a case of rather than spending your money you spend your time if you don't have money to spend on starting a business what you do have is time and this business model is great for people who don't have money but they do have time because the more time you put into creating content the more traffic you're going to get and the more affiliate commissions you're gonna get. It's also very easy if you approach it in the right way to make money very quickly. So I've talked about this model on a couple of my videos. I call it the strength to sales model. So what you do is you find out what your strengths are, which just requires you to ask a series of correct questions and sort of join the dots. Then you apply that to a niche. Then within that niche, you do a little bit of a deep dive on that niche, find the pain points of that audience, so then you know exactly what content to deliver, what people are want, and what people are already searching for. So the mistake most people make when they don't know what they're doing is they think, okay, I'm gonna create content, I'm gonna create a YouTube channel or a blog, it's gonna be about the keto diet or online marketing, and they, and they think, this'll be a great idea, and they don't do their keyword research, they don't understand how to do it, prop, how to do everything properly, and they put out content that they think is a good idea, but actually no one cares about. So there is a structure to doing this correctly. You find the pain points, you find what people already want, they're already searching, and that is really the underlying secret or key 
to organic free traffic so you don't even have to run ads if you do those first initial steps correctly. You don't really think about sales as much as you're thinking about traffic, especially in the beginning, because if you get a thousand visitors, you can probably predict that a fair percentage of those people are probably gonna buy if you just do some basic things correctly, call to actions, links are done, little bit of a funnel set up, and you know, it's not super difficult. You learn transferable skills like setting up funnels, producing content correctly, correct call to actions, SEO, and uh, all you've done is learned a lot and only given a little bit of money just to set up you know, a basic website, if you even wanna do that. So that's really the best business model, I think, for beginners uh, to make money online, and it's the way that I found and continues to use even to this day. So I released a product to really show people really a blueprint so they can do basically what I do. And I've called this product the Silver Spoon Program. And I call it the Silver Spoon Program because a lot of people, they release products like info products and they teach in a way where they want students to figure it out for themselves. And it's like that old saying, give a man a fish, he eats for a day, teach a man to fish, you know, he'll eat forever. I get it, but I'm teaching you how to fish and I'm also just giving you the fish. Um, and by that I mean, if you just follow along with the program, you stay consistent, I do believe it's foul proof, and I do believe anybody, anybody can succeed with it. So if that does sound good to you, if that sounds like something you might be interested in, you can click the link in the description. You can get started literally for free right now, and also join in the community for free, where I'm very active in, you can ask me any questions that you might have. So if that sounds good to you, click the link in the description, otherwise, Big thank you for checking out this video. Please like and subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll see you next time. Take care.